Coming up on Mountain News this morning, fans continue to react to Coach Cal's departure after the news became official. And Tourism Bureaus in Eastern Kentucky are partnering like never before to bring more to the mountains. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Olivia Calfee. We are coming up on 5 a.m. on Wednesday, April 10th. Now let's send it over to meteorologist Tim Drawbridge for a look at your forecast this morning. Mild and wet to start off our Wednesday morning, Olivia. 52 and yes, some lower visibility around eastern and southern Kentucky, so keep that in mind as you get out the door this morning. All of our temperatures this morning are in the 50s and the pinpoint Doppler radar showing basically light activity across the eastern half of the bluegrass state this morning. Loop the data over the last 60 to 90 minutes and you see everything's tracking west southwest to the east northeast. So basically it's light from the radar site as you make way down toward Harlan and Letcher counties as you make way back toward Williamsburg to Monticello. We got some heavier bursts of rain though extending from near Danville over toward McKee tracking toward Boonville in Stanton. Keep that in mind if you got some driving here as we proceed through this five o'clock hour. More moisture to our south, more will evolve. And yes, that means a wet day again today. Showers, a few thunder showers and a forecast high and hazard later today up to 73. Can we get back to the sunshine? You'll like the timing. First alert, 70 forecast in a few moments. Olivia. All right, Tim, thank you. UK students are buzzing with speculation and emotion. Jeremy Toms talked with some of them on campus yesterday evening about their thoughts and feelings toward this major shakeup in Kentucky basketball. Spring is a time for new beginnings, but Big Blue Nation still isn't ready for what's been sprung on them. It, it, it's not going to look right. He's, he's always going to he's always going to be UK coach Cal. The possibilities swirled around campus like raindrops in the wind until rumors became reality. Since I was four years old, that's the only coach I've ever known. It's just like Coach Cal Ferry. That's just who he is. He's just at Kentucky. That's where he's at. Current UK students grew up with John Calipari's Kentucky Wildcats. Parting from that will be bittersweet. I mean, no student will just say that they aren't going to miss Coach Cal. I'm going to miss Coach Cal. He was in itself a part of UK basketball. As for what comes next, of course, these cat fans are thinking about all the biggest names in the sport. But beyond that, they also want to find someone who holds in high regard this university's illustrious basketball history. I think we just need a coach that's passionate about the legacy. This is a school that's produced a lot of people in the NBA, but if you're if that's your only goal, then sometimes the school's goals can get put behind and that's just not a good look. The disappointing results lately leave some fans to think that the time is right for this. But I just feel like recently he hasn't been the same guy. He hasn't been that winners. But others are left to wonder what a team without cap will bring. Even though everyone wanted to kick him out, like if we don't have a coach next year that has a better result, people are still not going to be happy. In Lexington, Jeremy Toms, WKYT. And we are also hearing from Ellen Calipari about her husband's departure from the university. Being a coach's wife is a different thing than being the coach. And, uh, you know, you just have to be supportive of what they're doing. And if he feels like it's time to move on, I have to support that and it's not easy and we will miss a lot of things about Lexington and the University of Kentucky. Ellen Calipari also says she hopes the things her and Coach Cal have done for the University and the state of Kentucky leave a lasting legacy. Here's a look at some of Calipari's accomplishments while he was the head man in Lexington. The first 10 years of Cal's time at Kentucky was great. Of course, four final four appearances in that 2012 National Championship. That team finished with a record of 38 and 2. Kentucky had five 30 plus win seasons under Calipari. He also led Kentucky to six Southeastern Conference regular season and tournament titles. He also won SEC Coach of the Year four times. 
Here are all of the coaches to win national championships at the University of Kentucky. Of course, the building Rupp Arena is named after Adolf Rupp, who got things going with four national titles, two in the 40s and two in the 50s. Then Joe B. Hall won it all in 1978. Rick Pitino led the Cats to the promised land in 1996 before Tubby Smith did it in his first season in 1998. And of course, Cal led UK to its most recent title back in 2012. The University of Kentucky is extending its confirmation deadline for the first time students. UK says the extension is due to delays in FAFSA availability and processing. The extension is for students enrolling for the fall 2024 semester. Students now have until May 15th to enroll. Six tourism bureaus, including Harlan and Corbin, are partnering to enhance the visiting experience in Kentucky. Officials are calling the initiative Horses, Horseship Owner, and Haulers. WYMT's Chandler Wilcox tells us how Harlan and Corbin are involved. The initiative includes six destinations combining into one product. This kind of gives a glimpse into everything that Kentucky has to offer, not just one thing, not just one product, but the entirety of Kentucky. Three Eastern Kentucky destinations are included. That includes Portal 31 in Harlan County, where renovations finished up recently. It kind of showcases a little bit of the culture of Kentucky that you don't get whenever you're in the Bluegrass area or when you're when you're in Western Kentucky. The Mint Gaming Hall and Cumberland Falls State Park are also destinations included. It's the largest waterfall south of the Niagara. Um, it, you know, is home to the only moon bow in the Western Hemisphere, and it just offers a full on range of experiences. Officials say they are offering four and seven day trips that can be used individually or as a group. If you are a group tour planner, this can also really easily, you know, make a make a full trip. You can find tickets at kytriplehh.com and Hazard Channel Wilcox, WYMT Mountain News. Also included in the partnership are bureaus from Bowling Green, Franklin, Shelby County, and Georgetown. And thanks for getting your day started with us here on Mountain News this morning. When we return, taxes are due soon and social media is letting you know, but sometimes with bogus information. And we're focused on the pinpoint Doppler radar early on this Wednesday morning. Mainly line action, some heavier rain. Do we have to deal with another possible severe weather threat? We'll let you know. Your first alert seven day forecast. That's all coming up right after this.